Hello everybody, this is Vasavi from At Home Tuition. Let us learn about the complement of sets. What does the word complement mean? The complement of a set is the set of all elements of universal set which are not the elements of the set itself. For instance, you have a universal set as well as a set A. Okay. If I take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, this is my universal set and I take my set A as 2, comma 4, even numbers, just the even numbers between 1 to 5. Now, the complement of set A would be, the complement of set A I would denote it by this, okay, A complement, you write it here like this. So, your A complement would be all the elements which are in the universal set but not in the set A. Okay. So, all the rest of the elements which you find there are 1, 3 and 5. Right. So, that is your A complement. So, it is a set of all elements of universal set which are not the elements of the set itself. Okay. So, this is what you mean by complement. Now, you denote a complement of a set by A complement, this symbol. And A complement means, symbolically it means, the term, the elements X, where X belongs to the universal set and X does not belong to set A. Okay? So, that means A complement will be Universal set minus A, right? You just remove the terms, elements of A from the universal set and you write. That is what is A complement. If A is a subset of universal set U, then A complement is also a subset. You can see in this example I gave you. See, uh, my set A is a subset, right? I, it has been made with, by, with the uh, two elements 2 and 4. So that's a subset. And you see that A complement is also a subset because it takes the elements 1, 3 and 5 from the universal set to form uh, set uh, A complement, right? So if the set is a subset of a universal set, then the A complement will also be a subset of a universal set. Here too you have few properties of complement sets. First one is complement law. The complement law, remember, it is A union A complement. That is A and A complement will be the universal set. Same way, A intersection A complement would be this. A intersection and A complement because A will be this plain area and A complement is the pink area. So, you can see that A intersection, A complement, there is no common space there. So, that's a empty set. Here, I have shown you the picture of A complement. So, normally the universal set is represented by a rectangular box. And the sets are put inside it. Now, because a set is a subset of universal set, right? So, it is inside the universal set. Now to mark A complement, I just shaded the portion outside A. Okay, I don't take the elements in A, only those outside A I have taken. Now, the second property is De Morgan's law in which the union complement will be distributed over the... Okay, see this is A union B, the whole complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. And similarly, A intersection B, the whole complement would be A complement union B complement. Okay. Then you have the law of double complementation. That is when you find the complement of a complement number. That's double complementation. So A, A complement of complement is A only. Okay. And the last property is laws of empty set. And universal set, that is, phi dash is universal set and universal dash is phi. Okay. I have taken few questions here. 
you have to show that in a Venn diagram. Okay. So let me do the first one. The first one says A union B complement. Okay. A union B the whole complement. So first you need to find what is A union B and then you would find the complement of it. First I drew A. I colored A union B. Okay. So this pink portion is A union B and the complement would be the area besides this A union B but it should be in the universal set right. So this would be A union B the whole complement okay. Now I am doing the second one. Here they ask you to do A complement intersection B complement right. Here I have to do A complement first then the B complement and I would take the common area between A complement and B complement because it is intersection. Okay. So let me show you how to do that. First I shaded A complement. Okay. First you do A complement. So leave A and I shaded all the rest of A. Okay. And then I did B complement where I just drew the shades. I drew the strips and since it is intersection you have to take the area where both these appear, right? So your, this one would be, okay, this would be your A intersection B complement. Is that clear? Where you have both these designs. The next one is A intersection B, the whole complement, right? I have marked this pink portion would be A intersection B, okay? And... Now the green portion is the area which is not in A intersection B, right? So that would be A intersection B, the whole complement. Did you get that? And the last one they have asked is A complement union B complement. Here I have given you the picture for A complement union B complement where you find the A complement has been uh, done by uh, shading the other area except A in pink. And the B complement I have drawn it with lines. Now I just left the B uh, circle and the rest I have drawn line. That would be my B complement. Now A complement union B complement would be the area where you, have, you find both these uh, pink shade as well as the line. That I have marked in... Uh, black dots so that would be your A complement union B complement. We would just do one more problem a small problem which shows you all these complements with numbers. Here is a problem where the universal set is given as 1 to 9 and A is given as 2 4 6 8 B is given as 2 3 5 7 you need to verify that First one is A union B the whole complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. Okay. So this I am going to start with left hand side. So first I have to show that A union B. First let me find out what is A union B. We put the A values first 2, 4, 6, 8 and then the B values but don't repeat any number so that 3, 5, 7 okay therefore A union B the whole complement will be you just leave all these values from the universal set and write the rest that is you take away A union B from the universal set so that would be 1, 2 is here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is there so your set would be 1 and 9 okay this is your left hand side let us do the right hand side now and see if both are equal for right hand side i need to find a complement first so a complement is all the elements which is not in a but in universal set right so that's 1 3 5 7 9 right now let me find out B complement. B complement is all the elements which is not in B uh, but in universal set. So that's 1, 4, 
six, eight, nine. Right? Now you're going to write A complement, intersection B complement. So the intersection is common numbers. So one is common here and nine is common here. So A union B complement would be one comma nine. Okay. So you see that here your LHS is one comma nine and your RHS is one comma nine. Therefore, I can say A union B the whole complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. Let us do the next problem. You need to prove A intersection B the whole complement is equal to A complement union B complement. This is what you need to show. So let me first find the LHS. For the left hand side I take A intersection B first. Then only I can find the complement of it. A intersection B is just 2, right? Yeah, nothing else. Now A intersection B complement will be all except 2 from universal set. So that's 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? Now let us do the right hand side. In the right hand side they say it is A complement. A complement I have already done there. So that is 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Okay. Now what is B complement? B complement is also have been done. It is 1, 4, 6, 8, 9. Right? Next we have to write A complement union B complement. It's union. So you have to list out all the numbers. So that's 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right? Yeah, you find your uh, left hand side of this and the right hand side of this is same. And this proves, this says that A intersection B complement is equal to A complement union B complement. Hope you all understood how to find the complement using the Venn diagram as well as the numbers, right? Thank you. See you all in my next video. Till then, bye.